Hey guys, first and foremost, it's Alex out here with Trans West in Kansas City. Um, happy holidays, uh, happy new years in case I don't get an opportunity to talk to you between now and then. Um, reason we're out here today, this is a real special occasion for us. Uh, we have the first uh, 2021 modeled Cimarron uh, Freedom. It's a toy hauler. We're gonna do a quick walk around uh, of it today. Uh, forgive us for the sound, we are in the shop. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but we have a massive 19 bay shop here. Um, we do full service work from chassis all the way to the house and to uh, Newmars, uh, Tiffin, Prevost, uh, any of those major brands of, of RV, we do all sorts of work to them. Um, if you guys have any questions about getting service work done, you know, give us a shout, 816-892-5950. Um, they can handle all of it. Uh, that being said, we're going to continue on with our tour here. We special ordered this one. Um, it is 53 foot long. It's triple axle. Um, it is all black, um, complete blacked out. This is a toy hauler. Um, this one is going to be hauling junior dragsters. Guys, we're going to touch base on a few of the key features of this thing. Uh, first of all, it is triple axle. Um, when a trailer's this big, we like to have air ride. So we do have air ride on all three axles. We also have two dual hydraulic um, jacks on this thing to make sure that it stands stable. This trailer is all aluminum, uh, extremely strong. If I was to drop one jack and leave the other on the opposite side, you'd never know. You'd never get any twist, you'd never get any bend, you'd get none of that. Super solid, one of the best built trailers, if not the best built trailer out there, it is Cimarron. That being said, this one, has we opted for the enclosed front end on it. Um, so it completely seals up at the front. You still have the water drain down at the bottom. Going around, once again, all black. A new feature uh, that I'm pretty excited about is the Gerard Nova awnings. Notice no awnings on your typical trailer. You have arms here. There's no arms here. They're all tucked away. And when they fold up, they all go inside. You have lights on the outside here, lights on the up front here, light on the, on the handle grip there and you also have outdoor stereo. Super nice feature. Come on down, you'll see that we've got the vents in the garage area in case you're hauling fuel. Um, triple axle, all nitrogen filled, super nice setup. Man door on the side, that way you don't have to drop the garage door every time that you wanna get in and out, just jump in your man door. <clears throat> on this trailer, we opted for the plastic uh, see-through uh, pass zone uh, just so that we can keep it heated and cooled. This thing is heated and cooled in the garage area. It's insulated in the garage area. Uh, it's gonna stay, it's gonna stay 60, uh, 6 to 60, or I'm sorry, 66 to 70 degrees without a problem in the summer. And you're gonna be able to keep this at 70, 72 degrees in the winter. Shouldn't have any major issues. Come on in, we'll take a look real quick here. Everybody give Katie a quick shout out. She's our, uh, one of our marketing uh, managers here at TransWest. She works her butt off to do these videos with me. Insulated walls. We've, in this one, we strategically placed for her, uh, uh, the lady that's purchasing this one that we built this for, uh, tables. So we do have tables. They are solid. We have vents, uh, coat racks. All your switches are all nicely in one area here. All of them, heavy duty switches, not flimsy plastic back here in the garage area. Nice rubber, uh, diamond plate style flooring. Uh, that way you get traction in here. This one is a custom setup with beds in the back. So a lot of times when you know you racers or you guys out in RZRs or, or Can-Am, stuff like that, you guys go, but there's not a whole lot of room to sleep folks. Obviously there's tons of room in here. You can get two or three machines or a couple cars, a couple, you know, four wheelers, so on and so forth, but not enough room for everybody to sleep. In here, you've got the bed up front and we'll get to that here in a minute, but these are both beds that come down on an actuator. Super nice setup. They're two queen beds. Each one's set to hold 500 pounds. Give it a second and it'll catch and we'll show you what this is, looks like. All right, guys, so now that we've got the bed all the way down, two queen size beds, both set up. These are really nice. Guys, I'm 320 pounds, and this handles me 
just fine. No problems. So over on this side, you'll see that we've got, you know, storage up top. Have two independent radios here. One for the garage area, one for the inside. Oh, guys, it's Kelly. Kelly, come on back. Kelly's our office manager. I'm sure she's looking for one of us. Uh, she works her tail off for us to keep things running here. Like I said, a lot of these office folks don't get a lot of mention, and they work their tails off to keep us rolling so we can have these cool, cool things. Thanks, Kelly, for popping in. You're welcome. See ya. We'll see ya. So continuing on, like I said, two radios, one for the garage area. So, you know, if you are at the racetrack or you or you're working on your um, your machine. You've got radio. A lot of times at the racetracks, the uh, announcements come over radio, so you'll have it inside. Uh, just a lot of cool features. Um, this one, like I said, dual heat and air conditioner inside the garage area here. Bed control lift. Everything operates off a of push a button. Super easy. No manual labor, no none of that. In this specific um, trailer, we opted to go with a propane generator. Propane generator is something we've not done. Uh, Cimarron worked with their engineers um, for weeks trying to make this happen. So we do have a propane generator on board that can handle everything. You can run your outlets, you can run your TVs, you can run your radios, lights, all the above, your uh, water heaters, all that kind of stuff, all ran, taken care of off of that generator. It's a super neat piece. We're gonna jump in and take a look at the inside now um, and check it out. All right, guys, now we're coming through in the pass-through here. Oh, we'll get out of Troy's way. Troy's the, the tech doing the PDI on this thing. He does a real good job at making sure that everything's squared away before it leaves, before the customer gets here. We push all the buttons. We check the water heater, the shower. We check all the lights, the TVs, so on and so forth. As you can see, he's in here right now working on a few things for us, making sure it's all squared away. That way, when you do leave, um, uh, you know everything's taken care of. Troy, I know for a fact, if he's checked stuff out here for me, uh, it's gonna leave 110%, and I know I'm not gonna have any issues. So that being said, we'll get out of Troy's way here, and we'll jump on in here. All right, guys, so now that we're here in the, uh, in the living quarter area of this thing, um, you can see the nice, fine fit and finish of this, of this uh, living quarters here. Outlaw Conversions is who does the upfit for us. Guys, this thing is all hand built. You got soft touch ceilings, soft touch walls, great insulation, pull down shades. You have day and nighttime shades. Super nice setup. Everything's solid. You know, you don't have a bunch of loose stuff. It's real wood. It's not that plastic stuff. You got real leather pillows, not that crazy plastic stuff. Everything is nice in here. Beautiful. HVAC system is all plumbed. Heat is through the floor. You have the air conditioner all through the ceiling. LED lights throughout. You have two TVs inside the living area here. One here in the living area and you have one in the bed area. Super nice setup. Great for a weekend of racing, you know, four-wheeler riding, ride your Can-Am, ride your uh, RZRs. You know, a lot of people have sand buggies. Um, the race world. I know uh, my friends and I, um, shout out to a couple of my friends, Cody Brill. Um, he runs a B-modified race car. Um, he'd love to have an opportunity to have something with this giant uh, garage space out there. Um, when, we, when we go racing, uh, having all this room, having a living quarter like this is just a great addition to being able to go not having to use the, the, the facilities there at the facility. You have your own facilities here. You can cook, you can shower after the races, you can use the restroom, so on and so forth. It just makes everything lots more convenient. And you do away with uh, lodging, hotel fees and stuff like that because you're all here. And do something like with the two queen beds in the back that we had, you could easily sleep six people here without a problem. If you use the jackknife sofa, you could get seven people here without a problem. Guys, this is a monster trailer. Um, I had a blast building it. I sure hope uh, Aaron takes it home and her and her uh, two kids that uh, race junior dragsters have a, a hell of a time um, racing. I wish them all the luck. 
Um, we hope to see this thing out on the road quite a little bit. If you guys have questions about one of these builds, if you'd like one, if you'd like pricing, um, I do from plain Jane, just by the book, and I do complete custom builds like this one. My name's Alex. I'm with TransWest here in Kansas City. 816-489-8298. Guys, that will get you directly to my pocket. That's not a desk phone. That's not anything. That's to my pocket. 816-489-8298. If you guys have any other questions, feel more than welcome to give me a shout. Thanks, guys.